Okay, so I'm about to just completely give up with this uh, Razor Corex Chroma. So I know for sure that you don't need the enclosure fitted onto it. I tried it with it on, with it off, it's the same results. So I've got a RTX 3090 Gigabyte OC Gaming Edition. And it's connected with a Thunderbolt 3 cable. It goes through here and into my laptop. And here's I've got a Thunderbolt 3 cable here. And another Thunderbolt 3 cable going to my focus right. Now this is a PC specialist recoil laptop and I've been recommended to upgrade uh, the Windows 10 operating system to 21H1. So let's go into my Windows 10 menu, settings, system, about, you can see I've got 21H1 and I updated it specifically because I was told uh, the RTX 30 series works best with this uh, version. So I updated it, I updated my NVIDIA drivers and let's go to my device manager device So you can see both the onboard GPU and the external Razer Core X appears here However, if I go into Bluetooth and devices Bluetooth and other devices settings. PCIe device shows up as a driver error. USB root hub, which is uh, the Core X Chroma as well. Video controller, and it shows there's no error at the moment, but I cannot actually connect my external monitor, which is connected to the Core X. It won't show up on this. If I try to detect other monitors, it won't any other display. So the only way to make it actually detect it by is disconnecting the Thunderbolt 3 cable and then reconnecting it. And then it should detect the other displays. <clears throat> However, this monitor turns off. and I cannot re-enable the left monitor but the games run shit, it stutters extremely so, so if I go into Bluetooth and other devices it won't show up as an error anymore just let it reconfigure itself Bluetooth and other devices no, it doesn't show them as an error anymore. But running games is just not... You can't run it at all. So we're back on the external display. With the RTX 3090, that's not even spinning. So it means the usage is very, very low. Yet it's stuttering like crazy, look at that. So clearly, there's... Some driver issues going on. I don't know if it's driver, it's I don't know what. Thunderbolt 3 is enabled. I don't know what to adjust. No one's been very helpful in actually getting this sorted. Now in device manager, if I disable the RTX 3080, it doesn't stutter anymore. Okay, so I need to be fair, so let's go into settings. Display. Let's put it up on the same resolution as I have it on the other monitor. So 1080p. Apply. Okay. And let's run it for around a minute. And then compare it to the 3080. So at the moment, it's RTX 3090 with the Razer Core X Chroma. So that looks dog shit. That does not look like 1080p, that looks like 480 or something.
Okay, I'm going to call it quit now. And press R. Average 21 frames per second. Now if we look at the GPU, it's doing 37 frames per second. Whilst the CPU is 21. The preset is favor quality. Resolution 2080. Now let's run it on the 3080 on the laptop monitor. Okay, so to get back uh, onto this laptop's monitor, I had to reboot the computer itself because there's no other way to actually re-enable this monitor. So I rebooted it, disconnected the Thunderbolt 3 cable, and now we only have the 3080 connector. So let's run Horizon Zero Dawn. Okay, so now that it's optimized for the RTX 3080 built-in GPU. So let's go back on the same 1080p resolution. Graphics, favor quality, make sure it's the exact same one. Apply and run benchmark. So let's see if it can beat 37 as it did on RTX 3090 with a Razer Corex Chroma look how buttery smooth that is and this is a 300Hz monitor so the performance is incredible compared to the RTX 3090 well it's not, I know that the issue isn't with the GPU it's the external enclosure the Razer Corex Chroma that's giving me the problems and Cross compatibility, cross compatibility with Windows or something. So yeah, you can clearly tell that this is much better performance. So, <laughs> Rays are just telling me that it's just plug and play. It's just clearly not good enough. What's what's not working? I mean, is it hard to provide drivers? So at least I've got something to install instead of just uh, Windows telling me there's a, there's a driver error. Okay, now let's finish this and let's see how much frames we've got out of that. Look at that, 108 frames running on 3080 laptop GPU, 1080p. The CPU gave 112 frames while the GPU 171 so there's no point of using the external enclosure with the RTX 39 what's the point it's just ridiculous and that's the GPU driver that I'm running 46589 now I tried the newer ones 471 but it was the same problems I tried quite a few various different drivers uh, and I'm running DCH drivers by NVIDIA, of course. 